Hi Aquarius, welcome to your July Capricorn Full Moon Love Tarot Reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aquarius, looking at the full moon, which can be endings, full circles, completions. Capricorn can be the energy of reviewing things in our life that may be toxic or patterns or people or places or things. What goes, what stays. It's about being stable, grounded, practical, wise, analytical, um, laying foundations as well, taking our time, not rushing, slow growth. And I just want to say I'm not an astrologist. I'm just here to kind of read the cards on the energy. So we'll see how this may play out for your love reading. Now keep in mind, I'm just opening this up to whatever needs to come out. So it may or may not resonate. So if something shows up here you have no interest in, definitely means it's not your reading. So, all right. But hopefully it will be. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to cross watchers as well. It could be a reading for you. So welcome in Aquarius. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Wow. So a lot of repeating cards in these readings. I don't know why I shuffle like heck in between, during, but it is what it is. So we have dry desert here. We have 31, which is four, which is stability foundation. We have wizard of awareness. So we have three growth expansion commitment. We have 36, which is nine, almost full circle completion, new beginnings. And we have movement 28, which is 10 completions. Again, completions, endings, full circles, new beginnings. So you have three, four, though it did come out backwards, and then we do have nine, ten. It's almost like, could have felt like at times you were taking one step forward in a relationship, but then felt like it went back a little bit. But now we're starting to see maybe positive, positive movement forward into some sort of commitment here, where maybe you thought if there was, you were trying to manifest this wizard of awareness, being very aware of the connection, trying to manifest this, you know, because the Wizard of Awareness, it kind of gives me the vibes of the uh, Hierophant, the Hermit, and the Magician all rolled into one. So it's like you're trying to manifest this, but you know when to hold back when you need to. And it's very, um, a very ascended energy as well in some way. Like the Hierophant is about morals, values, traditions, um, wisdom be about faith religion you know marriage commitment all that stuff but not always so i kind of feel like here i feel like you're very aware of what's going on here so you're using like it's a three so you're using all those three energies to do what's kind of best for the connection but at times you're feeling like when there's been a step back like okay maybe this just is going to happen with that dry desert there but then all of a sudden things start moving forward and now you have energy of going towards commitment here now so i don't we'll see aquarius where this is going all right aquarius so everything you need to know is down below uh top pin top comment description box uh, playlist is there your playlist list of readings i do here and my other channels so if you are subbed here and you don't want to lose me if some reason this channel goes poof it's gone you never know here you can sub over there and you'll find me over there all right Aquarius. So let's see what is going on for Aquarius for this energy. Let's see. All right, we'll put that to the side if we need it as a uh, clarifier, but I do have five here. Well, there you are, Aquarius. The first card out with the Fool, and then we have the Six of Pentacles. And we do have the Devil here. And the lovers. Wow. So we have both sides of a soulmate connection here. And we have the king of cups reversed. So there you are, Lib uh, Libra. <laughs> Aquarius wanting to take this leap of faith. The energetic reset. Trusting. Everything's going to be fine. Six of pentacles is about balance. Equal give and take. Now if it's in reverse, I would say uh, maybe it's breadcrumbing. I don't always go right to breadcrumbing um, like most readers do. And, but we do have the devil and the lovers. So this is like both aspects of a soulmate connection, the dark side and the light side, where it can be very codependent, toxic, um, 
not a great energy when it's in the devil energy, but then we have the lighter, lighter side of the lovers, of two people coming together in a high vibration. Hmm. So that's the light and dark aspect that I felt like. Sometimes you feel like, okay, things are moving forward. It feels very light. Then at times it's a few steps back. We're now kind of in, and that could be just fear, stress, worry, anxiety with the devil as well. It doesn't always have to mean like addictions, obsessions, and toxic energies. It just could be fear. And then we have the King of Cups in reverse. Let's see what this card was. Nine of Swords reverse. So it's coming out of fear, worry, stress, anxiety. So, again, I kind of feel like here, um, you know, putting in the work, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups. I mean, that's like my courting, dating, getting to know. Six of Swords, like you can't move on. It's a stuck energy here. But I kind of feel like, I feel like this is beyond courting, dating, getting to know. So if you have been dating this person, I feel like you kind of know this is a really good connection or you feel like it is and you're hoping it's going to get deeper more solid more exclusive more committed or serious shall i say down the road here but i'm getting a little back and forth energy here um because you see that fool just teetering on the verge of going all in and then kind of held back a little bit here and the king of cups reverse could be someone over emotional um or maybe just withholding. And usually upright, I would take that as someone hiding or withholding. You know, not very affectionate or loving, although they do have feelings. And I kind of get in reverse. It could be someone over-emotional. So maybe at times they get over-emotional or their feelings get so deep they get a little scared here. But we do have that entry of the Nine of Swords reverse, which means... At times I'm feeling like there's a lot of stress and at times it's not. So it's all, I'm getting a lot of flip floppy energy here. So let's see, we have Pisces, Gemini, Capricorn. There's that full moon Capricorn energy. And then Aquarius show the first one out right here. Seven of Swords in reverse. So I don't think there's any malicious energies around this, not the Seven of Swords reverse. And there's getting over fear as well. There's the moon, even though it's in reverse. So there's that full moon in Capricorn right there. But then the Five of Pentacles is, again, feeling alone and disappointed. I know a lot of back and forth energy here. So, <sighs> okay. So let's see. Aquarius. Aquarius. Let's see. I'm not feeling like there's any third parties here or, you know, I'm just feeling like the, it's this person's own fear, ego, insecurities, or maybe they get too over emotional or attached and that scares them. And at times it feels really good. That's kind of what I'm getting here. So if you're going to go right to the comments to say they're a liar, cheater, narcissist, blah, 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 blah. And I have not said this in this reading. It's clearly not your reading. So don't leave me those comments I have to delete. I'm just, just nonsense. Just don't put it it's just not your reading. It's not your reading. Anyway. Okay. Let's see here. Aquarius. What else do we need to know about this connection for Aquarius? Eight of Pentacles. It's about putting in the work. Dedication. Two of Swords. And then it, there's that like indecisive, unsure, blocked kind of energy. Three of Cups. Again, you know courting, dating, getting to know, we're celebrating where things are feeling really good and then we're feeling a little blocked. It's it's like really back and forth here. Five of Cups reverse where that is good because we're not feeling the sadness, loss, or regret, excuse me, got the hiccups. Five is also change in the hangman here. So again, again, back, it just keeps giving me the same energy here. The same energy it's like, okay, we're putting in the work. All right, we're a little stuck and blocked. All right, then we're celebrating. We're good. We're dating. We're together. Everything feels good. I'm not feeling that sadness, loss, regret. And then all of a sudden, things feel like they're stuck again with the hangman. Although that's usually just temporary. It's, you know, pause for enlightenment, perspectives, a different outlook, and then taking like a different course of action. So we have Pisces uh, showing up here. 
Ten of Wands. You may be getting to the point where, you know, I'm sick of this back and forth energy. Ten of Wands of, you know, holding back, resisting, and waiting. <sighs> so, I don't know. So, I, I'm, I'm just feeling like stop, go, stop, go. Stall, <laughs> stall, stop, go. Just a lot of... A lot of that energy but then we have the movement and commitment so i don't let's see let's see what's going to happen here all right i want to know maybe getting a little frustrated like okay where you know are we going to get more serious or what the heck I'm tired of the stop and go there may be times when you may not hear from this person for a few days or uh something like that and you're like what the heck is going on and maybe you try to give them their space or whatever but you're like you know kind of getting tired of this all right so why let's just ask like why this energy is here why is it so much like i'm feeling i just feel a lot of stop and go why 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 let's ask why why is this energy here for aquarius the empress hmm okay the empress okay let's see Ten of Wands. I th it's almost like you're too much for them. <laughs> it's like you're strong, vibrant, um, definitely really high vibe in your Empress energy. Maybe unlike low vibrational people they've been with in the past. And, you know, maybe you stand out for yourself. You tell it like it is. You don't take any BS. You're very serious. You're committed. You're dedicated, loyal, true. You don't play around. You don't play games. And this is like a shock to their system because they're used to dealing with the total opposite. So I definitely feel like this Ten of Wands, this is like, oh my gosh, I don't, this is the, the, it's like too much, I would say too much woman, but it can be man, whatever. It's like too much. This is like, wow, it's, it's like too much for me to handle. I don't know here. Two of Wands in reverse. So I'm, again, it's about the new path opening up, brace, embracing that path and making that choice to choose that path. So we have judgment here. And we have the Queen of Swords. You're definitely, you don't mince your words. I'm definitely feeling that this is your energy, Aquarius. Because we do have the Queen of Swords here, which is Libra for me, but it can be you, Aquarius. So I feel like, yeah, you, you're blunt right to the point. You tell it like it is. You don't mess around. You, you know, very strong. And they're not, I feel like they're not, uh, I feel like they're, it's almost like you're too much for this person. <laughs> but why? Why? I, isn't this what a person would want? But we do have judgment here, which is, you know, life review, relationship review, healing, forgiving, releasing, what needs to be released, a call to action, final decision, past life, healing, things meant to be. And the high priestess it could be very spiritual as well. Intuition could be, at times you may go into this energy of maybe feeling like uh, you're not communicating all that great but we do have the king of swords here so we do have a match and look at that they're even looking at each other so this is a match maybe there needs to be some really good uh, conversation or communication here between you for some reason and the page of swords so that's a, my definite aquarius card we have the page the king the queen of swords definitely here so we do have a match do have a match here let's see what's on the bottom eight of cups i feel like you don't want this person to go anywhere and look we even have the knight of swords which is aquarius as well so we have the page we did see the page the knight the king the queen magician in reverse so you're kind of feeling like it, it's at the moment maybe not going anywhere so but we have the death card here which can be the transformation and then the knight of wands can be something moving forward all of a sudden full of fire passion excitement oh boy so let's see we have libra scorpio libra taurus or that could be you aquarius so what i want to ask here is this person what's this person going to do like, what's going to be their course of action? What are they going to choose? What are they going to do with this connection with you, Aquarius? If this resonates for you, what are they going to do here? Are they going to just finally 
totally give into the connection and let it be what it is or are they going to continue to be in this energy let's see where's this going from here or aquarius oh my goodness <laughs> the two of cups there's the union there's the connection you know you know exactly like what this connection could be what it is the hermit the nine of cups wish fulfillment happiness and joy this person may like you may have another period maybe even now where maybe um i don't feel like it's a break but maybe it's just not as intense right now as it was and this person could be just doing a lot of soul searching right now realizing wow you know my aquarius gives me a lot of happiness joy they're like a wish fulfillment kind of energy so it's like they're really going in doing that inner work now if you're like this person would never do that and then it's not your reading oh ace of pentacles solid new beginning here in the high priestess so you could be a little bit right now where you're not really communicating as much high priestess can be about no contact or very little as well but i feel like this person uh well this is good energy they're going within here and they're realizing you know what i think i want this union with aquarius and i want to offer this commitment to be more serious exclusive whatever that means king of swords somebody who's going to speak up speak the truth there's the fire the passion you know that could be a tense in between you you know the fire is back there as well oh my god and then we have the hierophant this is my spiritual couple of the deck as well with the high priestess and the hierophant just saying so this could be about commitment or just being exclusive or serious or let's just be let's just be let's just be aquarius just you and me let's just be and we'll see where this goes wow and, and i feel like again there's that back and forth energy two of pentacles but i feel like they're making a decision here i mean change hierophant is change as well that's a five wow i definitely feel like they a little had a little bit of a wall up here with the seven of wands as well but i feel like that's shifting here so we have Virgo and Pisces showing up. All right. So let's see what else. Aquarius. I just heard a bell or something go ding. I don't even know where that came from. I have nothing around me that would go ding. Okay. <laughs> it's like ding, ding, ding. They get it. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I have no clue what that was. All right. Okay let's see i don't know if you heard that little ding or maybe i don't know if you did let me know in the comments okay well let's see all right these well there's strength there's the strong connection cannot be denied past lives healing soulmate energy overcoming the challenge here knight of cups and so moving forward love romance you thought it wouldn't happen here magician in reverse death you were thinking about ending this whole connection with this person and then all of a sudden they come through here stronger than ever and knowing exactly what they want because they can't deny the connection anymore what else here five of swords they know they've been sabotaging this they do so the transformation is happening here definitely here is that what's happening here let's just get one card for confirmation is that is what's going to happen here is this person going to surprise aquarius with this energy eight of swords hmm justice reversed and the six of cups well there's a return of the person you know it's been <laughs> feeling you know really unfair like it has not been balanced because this person was stuck eight of swords now i'm just going to lay these down here but there's the return right there manifesting the new beginning we have libra showing up here what else four of wands i could be moving in commitment marriage 
Dedication, Stability, Foundation, and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, there was a lot of resistance with this energy. And the Ace of Swords. I was feeling that Ace of Swords, so that is a big yes. That's Clarity from Source, Awakening, Epiphany, Aha Moment, Communication, Heart Clarification, whatever that means. A successful new beginning here. Universal universal law and order but it's also clarity from the universe seven of swords so so no more no more running out of fear no more avoidance no more of that you have your emperor empress whatever it is for you coming in and we do have a match with the emperor and the empress someone who's going to speak their truth again the king queen of swords again a lot of communication coming in here with the page of swords there was uncertainty but now i know what i want i'm coming in fire pattern maybe ready to come in here with the king of pentacles just saying just saying all right so let's see as far as a time frame it's hard to give time frames we have to do fours here so i mean that could be four weeks four days the month uh ones the aces are like ones so that could be like a month all right now seven years i ain't waiting another month it could be a day it could be a week you know all right, so Aquarius, let's see what this deck has to offer for you. And again, everything you need is below. And if it did resonate, uh, you enjoyed this, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. And again, everything, um, any support given is truly appreciated. And I thank you. So let's see. Aquarius. Miracles. Mm, I'm saying. So you feel like this would be a miracle if this were to happen? What well, we do have forgiveness here. So they may be asking for your forgiveness for their um, back and forth energy here. But it is a soulmate. I'm just saying. And you know that. You know that. I mean, we have the king, the queen of swords, emperor and empress, um, hierophant and the high priestess. That's my spiritual deck as spiritual couple as well. Usually they say the magician is the match, the high priestess, but I think we didn't, we have the magician here, but it was in reverse, but moon tree. So we are talking about that full moon in Capricorn. So this could be happening. I, it is on the third, which is like tomorrow, but it could be something around um, like happening soon, or maybe by the next new moon, which is on the 17th. But moon tree, so moon, again, cycles, rhythms, uh, new beginnings. Again, could be intuition, fear, emotions, things that we can't see. But this tree is here is saying this could be a past life connection, roots run deep, slow growth, maybe sometimes here, but sometimes that's the best way. There's always room for growth and expansion. And we have reflection. Could be a twin flame connection. So it could be there's been a lot of push and pull. Uh, doesn't have to be though. But I think this person definitely has done a lot of reflecting here. Definitely. Okay, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. And everything you need to know is down below. Wishing you the best. And I shall see you next time.